employee of the seven day mental diet. Welcome. How you doing? How's it going for you? Going pretty good for me, but how could it not go well for me? Because here I am on the south shore of the island of Kauai in beautiful Hawaii. Just look at this. I mean, how could it not go well? But you know what? I got a secret for you. Even though I'm in beautiful Hawaii on vacation with allegedly not, no cares in the world, I have been having to fight negative thoughts, even today. It started early this morning when my partner Raymond and I were scheduled to go on a helicopter ride. I had to get up pretty early at 6 o'clock, and the first thing that came into my head was, oh, you stupid guy, you should have scheduled for the afternoon when the sunlight would have been better on the Napoli coast. So my first thought this morning on waking up was a negative one, which I had to quickly reverse, otherwise I would have had to start all over again. So I quickly said, oh no, I'm sure it's going to be okay. I'm sure there'll be other things to look at. It'll be all right. Then I got up and the next thing I saw was that it was cloudy and even kind of rainy. And I said, oh no, this isn't going to go well. It was really expensive for this flight. And then I had to quickly reverse that. So all morning I've had to fight my own negative thoughts. Well, yesterday the negativity came out more in uh, criticism of other people. Today it was more criticism of myself. I had to really pivot and say, wait a second, I can't control the weather. I mean, why am I criticizing myself about that? And I didn't know about the light conditions. I mean, uh, what the heck? And I think we all have to learn to go a little bit easy on ourselves. I know I have to, because the first person I criticize is me. And we all have this negative dialogue that goes on every day in the background. Oh, you stupid guy. I'm not smart enough, I didn't think enough, I'm not careful enough, I'm too fat, I'm too thin, I'm not big enough, I'm not smart enough. We all have this negative dialogue going on and I think that really contributes to the overall atmosphere or attitude of negativity that goes on in many of our lives and uh, which harms us. And I'd like to mention, read something here from uh, Emmett Fox who invented the seven day me mental diet back in 1935. And he wrote, you choose your life, which is to say that you choose all the conditions of your life when you choose the thoughts upon which you allow your mind to dwell. Thought is the real causative force in life, and there is no other. You cannot have one kind of mind and another kind of environment. This means that you cannot change your environment while leaving your mind unchanged. Nor, and this is the supreme key to life, and the reason for this, this whole program, you cannot change your mind without changing your environment too. So that means to say that this isn't just sort of some airy-fairy thing we're doing here, the seven-day mental diet. Since our thought, mental thought patterns and our mental emotional habits are actually attracting all the things to our lives that happen to us. They are, we are causing our lives, we are actually creating our lives by what we think. And so it really is a good idea to think positive things because that's what we attract to ourselves. And so if you have a negative habit, you will attract negative things into your lives and your life will have a negative effect in them. This is the real key to life. This is again from Emmett Fox. If you change your mind, your conditions must change too. Your body must change. Your daily work or other activities must change. Your home must change. The color tone of your whole life must change. For whether you be habitually happy and cheerful or low-spirited and fearful depends entirely on the quality of the mental food upon which you diet yourself. Hence the seven-day mental diet. Please be very clear about this. If you change your mind, your conditions must change too. We are transformed by the renewing of our minds. So now you will see that your mental diet is really the most important thing in your whole life. So before you decide to go on a physical diet and eat less or drink less or smoke less, maybe it's a better idea to go on a seven day mental diet or maybe a whole lifetime of mental diet and to cut them down on those mental negative thought patterns that we all have. Whether there's criticism about ourselves or criticism about others, so I hope you're joining me on the seven day mental diet. And I'd like to hear from each one of you. So feel free to video me back, send me comments, whatever you want to do. The more of us that join on the mental diet, the more of us will change our lives for the better. And the better we will change this world. So aloha and see you tomorrow.